Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to model those two examples that we had in the previous video with ANSYS. We went through two examples, SDOF, single degree of freedom systems, considering the damping in free vibration. In one example, it was assumed that the heat is coming to the top of the cantilever with one meter per second. And after that, we went through the same example that we had where we neglected the effect of uh, damping, but we consider the damping and we watch the result. Now let's do it with ANSYS. Here is what we had for the first example, but we will come back to that later. First, we need to have the geometry just to remind what we had. Here is what we went through. 1 meter per second initial velocity, 3 meters height of this uh, column SHS210 U00 U.01 meter per second and the rest just one tone load on the top of this column. Now here first we need to bring the cross section. I already have it selected, feel it and then we can just delete. I prefer that it is vertical so we can just put this here and then after that we can bring it to the centroid of this coordinate. It is easier to check the situation if they are in the easy to remember coordinate. So it will be three meters. It's better if we go through the calculation by shell element then we come here and we can see that everything is fine. As far as I'm going to apply the velocity in, in transient, you need to select a body. And if we select the entire body, then it is not as we expect. So it is better if we just cut these two, two bodies for that. You can come here and make a plane. After that, let's go with 50, 100 millimeter. It doesn't really matter. And then we can split the body. As far as we split the body, we need to use workbench to share the topology between these two bodies. Here our cross section is ready. We can go through a structural model here. When the model is updated, we need to apply the uh, mass one tone on the top of this system. So here we have one place that we can add a mass. Here we can insert point mass and we can select The region that we want and one tone is added as the point mass. The next thing is the mesh. I'm going to use face meshing. You select and we can adjust. Let's go with 40 millimeter. Generate mesh. That's pretty good. And here we can add the fixed support on the bottom. For the analyzer setting, I'm going to use five steps, which is going to be five seconds. And here 
we select to go with sub steps initial sub steps for example 20 minimum 20 and maximum to 100 and the auto time stepping is on it means that it finds the best intervals except the first one that it is preferred to go with a little bit more steps especially for initial sub steps now we need to apply the initial condition which is the velocity and it should be a body in x direction one meter per second in the analyzer setting let's look at the options solver control here we have app based settings that uh, we can use user defined and amplitude decay factor is already set to be 0 0.1 i set it to be zero also in this example i'm going to not to consider the second order effect for large deflection so it will be off and in the damping control here you can see that we have direct input so it's very hard to find out the relevant uh, values for this stiffness and mass coefficient for Rayleigh uh, damping ratio however there is a way that we can find out if we come back to damping with frequency here you can see that the frequency is given as one hertz and the damping ratio is set to be zero for now if we come back to our model that we calculated earlier for the same example with this matcat code the frequency is 5.27 hertz in this frequency we can assume that uh, KSI value is 0 0.05 it gives a good uh, estimation of the factor however there are a lot of uh, debates about the calculation and the uh, finding out damping ratio if we come from the modal you have the option to set the damping ratio right away from here but if you change the modal option in the initial case to velocity then again you will see the same setting so here we can go with 5.27267 and set it to be 0 0.05 and automatically this stiffness coefficient of damping is calculated it's not going to be exactly the same as we solved because the uh, frequency might be a little bit different because of other factors considering for for calculation of the stiffness of this column for the results i'm interested in the directional deformation and as far as the velocity is in x direction we can set it to be in x direction and that's all let's solve it and check the results together here also you can change the solver output to be force convergence to check the intervals now the solution is ready and we can check the deformation in this case here we can have a look on this side and you can set the scale let's go with 10 times and we can turn off average here we can see how it looks like we have 30 millimeter while in our hand calculation the value came to 28 millimeter and in a negative side it was 24 millimeter we can just compare these two Here is our solution, horizontal marker, the top value is around 28 millimeter and the minimum value is about 24.
four millimeter, something around that. And here we can see that the value here starts with 30 and 26. So the only reason is adjustment of the uh, damping ratio. But the motion shows to be almost the same in three seconds. It's almost going to have no deformation. That's the end of this uh, video. We modeled one of the examples that we solved analytically with the uh, hand calculation and finding the results according to the vibration equation and uh, we compared the results with transient structural analyzers with ANSYS. In the next video, I'm going to continue the model that we had for the two meters cantilever with the point mass bond tone at the tip uh, when the uh, cable suddenly caught and then it starts to uh, vibrate. In that video, we assume that the system is completely undamped and we analyzed uh, without considering any damping ratio. In the next video, I will consider the damping ratio. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.